Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial by photoshopeducation.blogspot.com. Today we're going to talk about the high pass filter technique that's going to sharpen your image. In the last few tutorials we've talked about we talked about many different sharpening techniques in Photoshop such as unsharp mask and sharpen more and smart sharpen. This is just another technique to sharpen your images. As we said before, not one technique is going to be perfect for every single image. Uh, some people will say the high pass filter is by far the best. We're not here to tell you what is the best. We want you to understand all the basic sharpening techniques. That way you can look at that specific image and determine, yes, this is the best for this specific image. Now, if you haven't already, go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of the post and you'll find an image called Download Supporting Files. Left click on that and you'll download this PE-CRO1 image. It's the same crocodile image we used in the previous tutorial, except the previous tutorial was black and white and had sections in it. We're actually going to be fixing this whole image, so we felt uh, color is a little bit better. And the first thing you can want to do is go ahead and duplicate that background layer. It's very important to duplicate the background layer because with high pass filter you need to have two layers because what the high pass filter really does is it actually tries to find the edges of uh, the, the areas that you want it to sharpen. And then what we do is we blend that high pass filter with the actual blurred image and it becomes a very sharpened image. Now if you're following along with the written tutorial we actually change this uh, layer called to high pass. You don't need to do this, but it's just uh, it's easier to follow along with. Now the high pass filter is actually located in the odd area of the filter menu. Left click on the filter menu, come down to other, and you'll see this high pass. Now the first thing you'll notice is, wait a sec, it screwed up my image. Well, no it didn't. Remember we told you to duplicate that background layer. That's because this is the layer that we're telling it to find the edges. Now because the preview box here is smaller than uh, we would prefer, we recommend to have that preview box checked and that's the way you can actually see the crocodile or the sharpness change. Anything that's gray, just regular gray, is not going to be, get sharpened. Anything that's darker gray will get sharpened. And then how you do this is the radius of the pixels is going to control it. You're basically saying this is how much edging you want to sharpen. Now normally you're going to stick with 1.0 to maybe 5 pixels. Uh, but And for this today we're going to left click in this box and we're going to type in 4.2. But you also can use this slider here. Use the uh, if you move your mouse over to the up arrow and hold down the left mouse button and drag it left or right. As we reduce it, you'll notice that you start seeing more gray. That's telling you that you're going to be sharpening less. If we increase it to the right, more gray is gone, which tells us that it's going to sharpen it even more. So remember, one 1 1.0 to about 5.0 pixels is usually pretty good. Change this to 4.2, and let's go ahead and left click on OK. Actually, we want to show you one more thing is if you do want to move the preview around, if you move your mouse to the preview box, you'll see this hand. Hold down the left mouse button, and as you drag it, you'll see that you're actually moving that preview box. And if you want to, a real quick tip is if you want to jump to a specific area of the image, you can actually left click that area in the image and it will jump to it as I we just clicked on the arm of the crocodile and it jumped right to it. You can use the minus key uh, button here to reduce the size you're zooming out or the plus key to zoom in. Uh, go ahead and left click OK or to apply the changes and if you want to disregard the changes go ahead and left click on the cancel button. and Let's click OK. You'll see that now you got this high pass and you got the background. Now it's time to blend. Uh, back in the Sharpen Tools uh, tutorial, uh, we explained that there's a option called Mode. A well, Mode is kind of like a blending mode. So 
as we go over these five different blending modes, uh, just remember that uh, these modes, you might see them in different areas of Photoshop. But you got to make sure that the high pass or the top layer of that high pass is selected in the layers palette. And see where it says normal here? That's going to be your overlay or your blending modes. Go ahead and left click that and you'll see all these different options. And all we're really concerned about today, and we'll be going over all of these in a future tutorial, is going to be overlay, soft light, hard light, vivid light, and a linear light. Let's go ahead and left click OK for left click overlay. And you'll notice here's the original and here's the blending mode. It definitely sharpened. We'll show you a few more. Soft light is going to reduce the sharpness. So here's the original and here's the soft light. Here's the hard light that is going to strengthen the sharpening. So there's original and definitely that's a lot sharper. And we'll just finish it off. Linear light is definitely stronger. Uh, and here's the original, here's the modified, and finally the linear light and here's the original and here's the linear light. Now most of the time you're going to stick with overlay. Overlay is kind of the generic let's say fix for everything uh, but sometimes uh, you'll want to do a softer light to reduce that sharpness. Uh, sometimes you'll, you'll realize oh you know maybe I should have turned up a little bit more. You can definitely use the hard light. But We're going to show you another way that you can reduce the sharpening. And because these are in different layers, we talked about opacity in previous tutorials, is remember, as we reduce this opacity here, opacity here, it's at 100%, meaning it's going to show everything. It's not going to bleed through this bottom layer. So if we left click on it, in here, we can change that value. Let's really reduce this to maybe uh, 20%. And you'll notice at 20%, is it's it sharpened it a lot less because what we're doing is we're bleeding through to this bottom layer so here's the original and here's the modified very little changes so with that said what we recommend doing is when you're doing the high pass filter is to over sharpen it a bit you can always reduce the sharpening with the opacity option but remember the opacity option only goes up to 100 percent so you can't over sharpen with the opacity option. So start a little bit higher with the high pass filter and then you can reduce it either with soft light or by the opacity. Now that's the basics of the high pass filter. The other techniques and tips and tricks that we talked about in the written tutorial is besides over sharpening is to remember not one tool is going to be perfect so you want to really mix and match different tools to uh, correct your sharpen, uh, to sharpen it even more. That concludes this tutorial. We hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to scroll down to the bottom of the post and take a 10 question quiz and see how much knowledge you learn from this course. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.